VSX wanted to create the sexiest workout ever. Who better to help us than the sexiest fans ever? That's you. We've been collecting workout tips from our VSX Facebook fans and we put them together into a custom workout. And now I would like to introduce to you my friend and trainer, Michael Olajide. He helped us create this amazing workout. Hey Dalton, it's great being here today. For the arms, you don't want to bulk, you want to keep it sleek and that's what we're going to do. Alright, so the first thing we want to make sure we do before we start any exercise is make sure we're warmed up. And we're going to do that with some jumping jacks. Let's go. You should do your warm up for anywhere from 60 seconds to 2 minutes depending on how you feel. When your heart rate starts to elevate, that's cool. Bring it down, shake it loose and you're ready to start. Excellent. The first exercise we're going to do is small pulses on the down. What we do here is we get our body into push up position, hands under the chest, right? Your option is you can bring the knees into it, drop the knees. Abs tight, your core is always involved no matter what exercise you're doing. Work in the arms and you drop it down partially, not the full push up. And once you get comfortable, you start going as fast as you can. Here we go, great hand positioning. You're feeling the power coming up through the, through the heel of the hand. Thanks Kelly P, I really felt the burn on this one. And time, good. Now you can try and do this for 30 seconds and you can do as many intervals as you want. The next thing you do is you jump up and we get into our straight punch series. So you get your hands up in pyramid position, your feet shoulder width apart, and you start moving those hands slowly. Now what you do is you learn your range. You don't want 100% extend, but 95% extension, and as fast as those hands go out, you gotta pull them back. Now you're gonna start picking it up. And you're gonna do this for about 60 seconds, which means you're working muscle endurance and cardio at the same time. Let's go D, turn it on. 10. Nine, eight, seven, great, six, five, four, three, two, one, perfect. What we're gonna do, we're gonna place one hand on the medicine ball, one arm on the floor. Of course, the one on the medicine ball is the one we're really working. Now, this is great because it really works your pecs as well as the bicep and tricep. Drop down, give me four pulses. Three, two, one. Now switch over to the other hand. Thanks Anastasia for the great medicine ball workout tip. And time. What I love about these exercises, you're not dropping all the way down. So we're not talking about bulk at all. We're staying really tight, keeping that muscle flex throughout the maneuver, and we're keeping it sleek, strong, and long. Great work. So now we're in the seated position. You're gonna work the triceps, and you make sure your hands are spread, your fingers are spread wide, Thumb your heel into the heel of the hand into the ground, drop in the butt, up and down. The bend is in the elbows, perfect. Your abs, your core remains tight, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. It's perfect. There you go. You feel that burn? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We try to get about 30 seconds of that, whatever is good for you. Oh good. My God. If you stop, it's absolutely okay to kick it back in and do it again. Good. You do what you can each time out, you're going to get better. And time. Our next exercise is the triple jab, and this really works the delts and, and everything in your arm. So right, we got delts in right here, you're locked up, your abs are tight just like you are in your straight punches. When you throw a triple jab, it goes out, part way back, all the way out, part way back, all the way out, and back. Take it out, one, two, three, and back, right? And back, good, again, good, again. Now pick it up, one, two, three. One, two, three. This is a great punch to work with. It tones especially through the arms, really located. Good. Four, three, two, and one. That's dynamite. You can feel yourself getting cardio at the same time, all the small muscles throughout the arms you're working. Great work, D. <laughs> now, one thing that's beautiful about this workout is one, your legs are wide, your one hand is under the chest, right? You're here, you're working your balance and your stability. The core has to remain tight. So here, all three, now it's a th like a three-point push-up. One, two, three, right? Stabilizers, abs tight, lifting the bar up and down. And again, taking your time and building up the endurance. Good, that's perfect. Eight, seven. Combining the dumbbell with the push-up was great. Thanks, Tanya. Two and one, good. It starts off like this. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you repeat it. You cycle that combination. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're building up your intensity as you go along. Don't come out of the gate real fast like that. I want you to warm up, take your time, because remember, you're gonna do this for at least 60 seconds. I love the stability, the way the feet are gripping the ground. There's not a lot of wobble in the body. Everything's focused. Your core, the center of all movement is involved. The arms, the hands are fast. The knuckles, the intensity, the sweat dripping off the brow. <laughs> this is great time. <laughs> Beautiful work, D. <laughs> All right, now we're dropping down here to do the three-point push-up. And this is how it goes, right? We're up here, one hand underneath your chest. The feet are wide. We want to disperse that energy evenly throughout the body. Your abs, your core is tight. You got the other hand up high, right? On the ground, good. And you're going to tilt your body so your weight is over that, that elbow that's bending. Good. And that's it, just like that, nice and slow. Abs tight, good, see that arm accordion is very good. Nice job. And we're gonna do that for, well, not 30 seconds, 15 seconds, 10 to 15, if you can pump them out as fast as possible, which we're gonna try on the other side, okay? Good, you're gonna drop down, tilt your weight onto that left shoulder, that's beautiful. Now let's try to get some speed on it, D. Four, three, two, and one, good, I can see all the muscles in your back working, engaged, firing off. That's exactly what we want. Our next move is called the diamond, right? So you have your hands, you see the index fingers touching, the thumb touch, just like that. Bring it down into this position. Get the feet wide for stability, good. Powers through the heel of the hand, perfect, just like that. Good, perfect, that's right. Dropping the pegs down to the ground. Don't have to go that deep, stay nice and sharp. Good, breathing's gonna help. Michelle, those diamond push-ups are hard, but great. One more, hey, you got it. Try and do that for a 30. Now we're gonna stretch it out. And the first thing we're gonna get is the pecs and the bicep. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your hand, get the palm to the ground, and you're on top of your knee, and you drop down, so your chest down to the ground, and you're almost like you're trying to turn out and turn up to look to the ceiling, and you're stretching out through the pecs and right through the bicep on this one. Anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, you're holding it, feeling good, but that's perfect. Excellent elongation and form. Now we tensed the muscles of the upper body and the arms with the push-ups and the punching. Now we're gonna stretch it out. That left arm comes across, that's perfect. You're pulling in close, the shoulders are down low. Uh-huh, good stretch right through here and all the way back here. Now tilt it over to the side. That's perfect. Now you're gonna start to see that. You're gonna start to feel it work all the way through through the hip. And the last one through the triceps is right here. Lift that elbow up, good, with that other hand. Grab and pull back a little bit further. And now you're really gonna to start to work through the lats of that arm. Follow this workout and you'll be on your way to the sexiest arms ever. Thanks to all of our Facebook fans for helping us to create this workout. We could not have done it without you. All right, let's go. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.